Sheriff Rob Mayfield on the line here right now. Good morning, Sheriff. Good morning, guys. How are you? Good. First of all, I want to congratulate you uh, and all law enforcement in the area for handling the uh, the president's visit the way you guys did. I think it was uh, it was a shining moment for uh, for this area. Definitely. Uh, thank you. Um, you know, you want to talk about cooperation of law enforcement and uh, working together and putting a plan together ahead of time, executing that plan. I mean, there was no better than this time. We've We've done it before. Uh, President Trump was here as a candidate. Prior to that, we had President Obama here. Um, but this one was uh, perfection at its best. I cannot say enough uh, for the men and women of not only the sheriff's office, but obviously the, the state police, Utica the police, the Rome police, uh, fire and EMS. I mean, just a, just a well-executed plan, and it was led by the Secret Service. We were here to give them what they needed, and they could not thank us enough. They, yeah. they were truly impressed. Yeah. How far, Sheriff, how far in advance did they contact you with initial plans and all that, or are you allowed to say? Well, we heard rumblings maybe, I don't know, three weeks ahead, but the meeting oh, wow. started probably two weeks ahead of time. Wow. Um, and uh, from there, we met uh, that that last final week. We probably met in some capacity, um, not the whole group every time, but in some capacity each and every each and every day, and we still have another meeting to go. Um we're, we do a uh, what's called an after action review, mm-hmm. and um, you know, do we do something wrong? Is there something we could do better? Um, and not that we're we don't have any information saying it's going to happen again, but we do this every time. Yeah. And that way, uh, we have a plan that we keep in a binder, so that you know, the next time, if there is a next time, and we hope there's a next time, because that's an awesome thing for the community. Whether it doesn't matter what side of the issue you're on. Yeah. Um, there's nothing <clears> like <throat> it. I mean, I drove down streets through Utica, and I've been here my whole life, and it was. I mean, I didn't agree with everything I saw, but yep, it was really yep. neat to see the hustle and bustle of uh, our community. Um, signs, you know, whether pro, pro, or, or against. Yeah, uh, of people waving American flags. It was, it was pretty cool. I don't know how much of this you can get into. Maybe you can tell the whole story. I'm told someone asked in law enforcement or law enforcement ish. I'll say, mm-hmm. what happens with drones? Drones are the big thing now. Uh, th- there's going to be people with video camera drones, and they're going to be trying to, you know, do things around the Hotel Utica. And I don't know if it's Secret Service, FBI, whoever said it, but they were, basically the idea is drones are the last thing of our concern because they are so on top of that technology. They can, sh- I don't know if it's shoot them down or take them down or disable them quite easily. Lock can you talk about that? Can, can, well, I, but, but once someone puts one up, I guess I wonder right. what happens. Can you talk about well, that? Well, 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 the FAA basically that that time, like we do for a lot of other issues or events, I should say, um, they ban the use of them in certain areas. And um, obviously, technology is pretty advanced. Um, so you know, let's just say uh, it, if if it, it's probably not going to work at the end of the day if you you attempted to. Okay. If you did succeed, I wouldn't want to be on the other end of that. Yeah, anyways. yeah, sure. Uh, uh, how about uh, I had I had heard that uh, as the president's motorcade comes through. And again, there's mm-hmm. a, there are a lot of stories. We heard about manhole covers being welded shut, and we talked to a Secret Service, Service agent that said that's absolutely true. Um, it'll at the very least be investigated, and something will be uh, will be done. But uh, but uh, what were they saying that the, it was the as the motorcade goes by, cell phones are the cell phone jammer. It's it, like a, it's device a cell phone that, jammer. Yeah. Uh, any well, truth to that? Well, again, I can't get into specifics because yeah. obviously we're we're not allowed to. Um, but um, not only is technology pretty cool today, but good old fashioned legwork is also something. I mean that that we've always had. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, pre planning, and you know, there obviously there's advanced teams, and and uh, local law enforcement plays a significant role because no matter what type of detail there was with the Secret Service, there was always a local person with them in some form or capacity. Yeah. We're the yeah. people that live here every day and, and know the community. We know the atmosphere. We know the people. And uh, Secret Service, I mean, they're 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 phenomenal to deal with. Um, one of my best friends, not that he was on this detail, but one of my best friends, we grew up in high school, graduated from New York Mills together, best man of my wedding. He's been in the Secret Service about 20 years. Wow. And uh, um, just that he wasn't here this time, but mm-hmm. again, you know, just uh, it's a it's a great organization. Obviously, yeah. I'm pro yeah. I'm pro law enforcement, but um, they they know their stuff and they yeah. do it and they do it very well. Well, and you know, uh, ultimately, they uh, they are willing to take a bullet. For, to protect the president, I mean, it's uh, we've seen Absolutely. it. We've seen it before, um, and it's I, nice. To, it's nice to be part of something where your personal views are forbidden from getting involved in. Yeah. just like us. I mean, yeah. I have a job to do. 
doesn't matter who the president is, what party he belongs, he or she belongs to. It's our job to do whatever we need to do to keep him safe. And that, that's what's neat about yeah. even though my job is a political position, when I'm actually doing my job, I can't get involved in any sure. of that stuff. Makes sense. And I want to ask you, uh, speaking of politics, I want to ask you a political question. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, immediately uh, during, I think it was during the uh, the visit, uh, maybe the next day, Joe Marino, councilman in the city of Utica, uh, called for Claudia Tenney's campaign or the state or the federal government to pay for uh, costs that are associated with protecting the president um, and dealing with crowds, et cetera, et cetera, between what well, basically he was calling on that for the city of Utica. Um, mm-hmm. I, I, what's your take on that, um, if if you could? Should there be some reimbursement? Um, well, again, I don't want to get into the, the councilman's uh, feeling or position or opinion, but my job is to keep people safe. Um, we do this. Now, like I said, we've done it for um, President Trump twice. We've done it for President Obama. Uh, just to give you a local example, um, various parades, one of our bigger ones, St. Patrick's Day Parade, um, at times we receive information that someone may be, you know, uh, planning to do something that's not correct or, yeah, not, yeah. you know, uh, appropriate. So we provide security to local dignitaries, local elected officials. Um, I don't bill anybody for any of that. That's my job. Yeah, yeah. And we're not billing anybody for this detail. That's our job. Um, you know, the, the, this is no different than if, uh, if an incident happened or some other dignitary came to town or – there was some major event. Sure. I mean, now, if we get into a private issue, a private event, that's where we bill people. So a private fundraiser or a, or a private group or a church fundraiser, if they want specific security on site to be able to tell them what they need done and, and what to do, then we bill them separately. But yeah, yeah. For, for events such as this, no, we, we don't get into that. Well, that, that's and my, that's, at the end of the day, that's yep. my job. Did it cost yep. us money? Absolutely it did. It was significant, sure. but that's, that's my job. Well, I, I think part of what uh, what Marino and others have said is that this was a, a campaign fundraiser. The problem they have with us is this was a visit by the president of the United States for the first time since 1948 in the city of Utica. That is yeah. correct. That's Absolutely. a big that's a big deal, and there are many benefits that come along with it. Um, yep. Just the hustle and bustle you were talking about had to benefit uh, certainly benefit local businesses as well. And to see, and again, not that it was a good thing in some cases, but when you see comments or you see protests or events and you know you're watching them on the national television uh, uh, uh report you know yeah, national television yeah. reports and that's genesee street utica like yeah. that's like pretty cool you know, you, so, so that's cool you yeah, know but again yeah. at the end of the day it's our job to keep people safe and uh, there'll be no billing from oneida county and the okay. county executive and i have talked about this to yep. be, we are on the same page with each other yeah he, i'm sorry about the noise in the background I'm here. that's <laughs> all right I'm we here. call him up a, sheriff a we, cow in the background yeah. we funny. know you're busy we appreciate you taking the time uh the sure. the county executive echo, echoed those comments yep. on the air with us friday is there do you have an estimate how much is from a oneida county sheriff's law enforcement standpoint uh, perspective with overtime and everything else. How much did that visit cost? Do you know that? I don't right now. Um, when our payroll period ends, I, I could answer that. Yeah. Okay. Right now, but right. I had about uh, on the detail about sixty employees somewhere yeah. around there. Okay. In some capacity, all uh, sworn members. You know, again, we have, we're, we have multiple things going on. Most of them, and that's the other thing I told people. Most of the law enforcement activity that was going on that day, you never saw it. Right, so, sure. Right. And you still saw a lot, but you didn't see. Yeah, you didn't. Yep. You just scratched the surface of what was actually going on. Pretty big. Uh, okay, I want to I want to touch on this uh, case in New Hartford. Uh, what can you tell us? Uh, there was apparently, um, it, it looks like uh, law enforcement was looking for a man in New Hartford. Um, he then made uh, threats, allegedly. And he, yeah. what, what can you tell us about that? I'll make a long story short. Um, it was an individual that uh, several members of my office were looking for he was not a suspect in an issue they were looking to speak with him on an unrelated matter and uh unfortunately he made some uh, statements and my people felt strongly they were significant potentially dangerous statements and uh something that obviously can't be tolerated and uh clearly fit the uh the section of law that's uh, titled making terrorist threats so yeah. again uh took us a couple days to locate him and uh, he was located with the assistance of the New Hartford police, subsequently charged and, uh, and incarcerated. When you, you said that uh, members of the sheriff's office were looking for him, but it was or was not criminal-related? Was not, no. Right. Nope. So this no is we do other ca- functions, 
and again, I don't want to get into all the details. Oh, okay, but, yep. okay. Think... Um, sheriff's office. We have three different divisions. Obviously, the law enforcement division. We have the corrections division, and then we have the civil division, which does a lot of things that are non-criminal. I understand. And uh, we have a lot of interaction with people on non-criminal related matters. And that's what we were initially involved with this situation for. And um, like I said, in their conversations, um, yep. which were, uh, like I said, uh, some of the content of what he shared, sent the alarms off with our people and uh, were significant yep. in nature. And subsequently he was charged. All right. Uh, the lesson is yep. try not to make matters worse. <laughs> uh, keep right. your cool, yep. maybe. All right, Sheriff. Interesting conversation. Thanks so much. We appreciate it. Very good, guys. Thank right. you. Have a great Thanks day. So much.